Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last year at York Hall with Nigel Travis Nigel. That could be one of the best British title performances I think we've seen in recent years. I'd like to think so. Again, um, the kids, I think I've used this word a few times, but he really is an enigma. Uh, the kid's special. Uh, he's had a lot of rough luck. Um, this is the first camp he's ever had um, when he's not had to work. So he was working nights and coming in the gym to, to work and obviously it's it's soul destroying, you know, whereas now he's a, he's in the prime of his life and the form of his life and so now he's supported well enough, which which he is by his sponsors who are very, very, very fortunate to have them and now they can go on and we believe make a real real statement in this sport. He's just a, an enigma, you know, he's, he's phenomenal. Uh, the things he can do, the, the shots that he can throw, uh, unparalleled to anything else that you've ever seen. It's, and I don't say that, you know, um, easily. It's not like it's genuinely not just a throwaway comment. The guy is special, uh, and and we believe that the better the opponent, uh, the the better he'll he'll be, he is and will become. Uh, and, and don't get me wrong, Chris was very 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 strong, very very tough. Um, but I thought Mark was in total control from the start. Obviously. I mean, it's, it's difficult. You just you shouldn't, shouldn't talk about the negatives, but I thought one sixteen, one thirteen was. I was going to say, was you twitching? Yeah. Absolutely. Listen, I wasn't. You know, in all fairness, I wasn't twitching last week, unfortunately, mm -hmm. in Scotland. Um, but then when it took so long, and this took a while to get the, the car, took a while, and Jamie said to me, "And cars are a bit lot," and I'm like, "Oh, please. are we getting jobbed again?" But listen. It's not about Jack Carroll. Today's all about Mark Leach. Uh, and uh, and it, this was his coming out parade. This is this is, is what it will be. You know, this this is the this kid could be the future. You know, uh, this kid could genuinely make a massive statement and uh, and and secure his uh, and his and his family's future. You know, he's um, I'm buzzing for him. We'll talk a little bit about the fight a bit more in a second, but just in terms of Jack and the team and what it means to you guys, he's had what feels like a hundred eliminators. Um, so it's kind of like just how long he's been waiting to get this, and that. It's, it's, it kind of feels like a, the end of, of a chapter in a way. Yeah, listen, I mean, he's got what his rightfully is in my eyes, and, and I sort of said that to him in the, in the in the corner. I said, get out there and, and get what's yours, but stay disciplined. Uh, and he and he was faultless. He was for me. He was faultless. Um, he's, um, but again, and again, notion to, to cut short on Jack. But this is about Mark Leach. Now Jack, you know, his you know ridiculous decision went against him. We're now in a position that the gym's uplifted, you know, and but there's still this misjustice is going on. <laughs> Sorry, what about him? But one sixteen, one thirteen, even one sixteen, one twelve. I, I, I don't know what they were watching. Now, it's not about armchair support. Or it's not about people who, who, who are casual fans or whatever they call. That was, for me was the boxing lesson. Now, Chris is one tough, tough, tough boy. He's a South London boy. He's a he's a tough, tough, tough man, and and I, and he's a good fighter. And we knew how good he was on being very dangerous. And I thought Mark made him look. Um, not average, but maybe you know, just went, just did, did, did an actual a number, and similar to Jack, I thought Jack did a number on, on Josh Taylor, but this is about uh, uh, Mark Leach, and I'm so elated for him. He's now uplifted the spirit of the gym, um, and it, it makes it easier to come back in back in the gym on a Monday morning. So we're back in Monday morning. Uh, he'll have a week off, I hope. But Jack's back in. Uh, the rest of the lads, and he just lifts it up. So the success breeds popularity, doesn't it? And everyone wants to come and be part of it. But this kid genuinely, genuinely deserves it. So I'm, I'm always right. I know there's obviously going to be a lot of intricacies behind it, and it's not just getting there and box. But um, for people looking at this from an outside perspective, was it always going to be the sort of fight where if Mark's to win, it's going to be Chris with the pressure, and Mark with the head movement and the boxing skills, and that is pretty much what, what showed tonight. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I, people genuinely underestimate how hard my Leach can hit. See Chris's face; it's busted. And, and yeah, wow, well, yeah, <laughs> terrible. And you know what? And that's why I'm also thinking. I'm, I'm in the corner, thinking what happened last week, and 
and it took ages to get the cards. I'm looking at Chris's face, I'm looking at Mar thinking he looks fresh as paint. Please, no, but listen, it, it obviously it didn't happen. But it's the, the kid, you know, it's amazing how, um, how hard he is. And listen, pound for pound, or whatever it's called, pound for pound, that kid's the hardest hit in our gym. He's a, he's a, he's a I use that word again. He's a, he's, a, he's a genuine phenomenon. He really is, and he can he can go on and, and do fantastic things in the sport. And I believe he will. His strength is really something to behold. When he's in the gym, he's stronger than he's as strong. Even when they go on weight sessions, they do it, and he's equally as strong. And he's and all this is going on. This kid's a bantam weight. You've got to give him the opportunity to soup on away and grab the advice he wants. Listen, he'll, he'll go to featherweight and say, well, listen, this, this kid is a genuine phenomenon and can do it. Well, Mark hasn't really been in the mainstream spotlight. Like, I remember seeing him in Peterborough when he beat Case Fashak and thinking, from here, surely this man is going to be a TV regular. Um, surely now, Mark Leach is going to be put in the spotlight in British boxing. As you said there, you know, after the Ashback fight, um, that was his coming out by... He's had a second one. And yeah. But listen, he's British champion now, so you, you can't ignore that. He beat, he beat somebody who's been to the Olympics and was a, was a decent amateur, uh, but hasn't shown it a professional. So, so that's why they were judged. And, and let me tell you this, Chris Ball was a massive favourite for that fight. So hopefully, Salford, on hot on mass, have earned a few quid tonight. Really, they have. So he was two to one in a two hours race. It was a 50 50 fight before, before, but now he's. Now he's um, now he's being champion. Brilliant, Nigel. Congratulations to uh, to you, the team, and um, yeah, you deserve it after a couple of weeks ago. Well done. Thank you. Thanks a lot.